So, as we mentioned in the facial assessment, she has a real skin problem. We're not going to deal with the skin problem now, okay? Let's forget the skin problem. She has a sun-damaged skin, wrinkle, loss of elasticity, everything. We know that, okay? So let's, for today, because I see this lovely woman for the first time, but she has also a real issue with the loss of volume. The neck is not too bad, yes. Yes, of course, if this lady could have a facelift, okay? If you do a facelift, but you, the facelift will not restore the volume. So she, she, doing a facelift on a very bad skin with a total loss of elasticity, with no volume, will end up like a weird, weird, weird face, okay? See, this, that's the idea, okay? Ooh, I don't think she will like it. I don't think anybody will like it. So, yes, that's the old-fashioned way to do it. Okay, I don't think. She's a very smiling, charming woman. A lot of charisma in the face. So we have to try to preserve that. Okay, that's the most interesting part. A bit of volume will help her. Of course, that will not change the skin. Some treatment can be done on the skin. You can do the, the famous PRP, the plasma lift. You can do the laser. You can do so many things. But at the moment, we're going to try to not restore not, uh, volume on the face. <laughs> you see all the different areas, except the temple. Mid cheek, lower cheek, everywhere. So we are going to try to restore volume harmoniously all over the face. Bit difficult, lots of products. Okay, so let's. It's a bit an extreme case. It's interesting for you. It's a bit like the, 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 the maximum we can do with volume restoration. Attendez, je dois dessiner. I have to draw. You can see here. No, no, most uh, oh, Only to put in mention, for the skin, we have a fantastic product, Redensity One. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's, that's part of the different procedures or di the different techniques you can use for the skin. Of course, Redensity, laser, plenty of different treatments, okay? PRP, you can blend also PRP and Redensity. You can mix the two techniques together. Why not? It's a good idea. Uh, Yes, uh, today I'm just essentially focusing the, on the facial restoration, the volume. So I maybe use um, Theocial Ultimate for this lady, because I need high density uh, volumizing product because I have a lot the loss of volume is quite important and of course we're going to do the lips she had a, a tattoo long time ago which is not uh, okay it is what it is yeah. it is what it is not really <laughs> absolutely right they try to cheat and to go above the lips so it's a bit of a mess okay so we at the end I will try also to restore the lips okay okay so please on top, un peu plus haut, s'il vous plaît. D'accord. Is she fine for you? So the same three dots. Right. Ultimate. Okay. So I think ultimate is a bit thicker. So I'm going to use a thicker needle. Uh, I use the blue one. I'm going to use the gray one, which is a 22J by 70. The previous one, the blue one, was 23J. This is uh, 22. Voilà. Introduction of the cannula, okay, sliding, up, easy, okay, ah, I forgot one thing, to put the mark where my, the, where the product is going out, you see, even me I forget sometimes, voilà. right, so important, huh? so I go back in, show you again, needle hole, you see, up, I, push with the, the other hand, and you see I'm not too superficial. 
Okay, I'm not scratching the skin. Therefore, I don't bruise. So, and I start injecting. So, to please our German colleague, which loves the obviously the ultimate. It's a long time I haven't used ultimate personally. So, try to make it even, and then we'll have to sculpt with your finger. See, it's a bit thick. This, uh, for, obviously, for this patient, we need a lot of filler. It's not a normal case. It's a bit extreme. So we need to do a, a serious volume restoration. So a minimum of three meal per side will be necessary. Uh, it's lovely, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not painful? No. You see, I don't use any local. Um, I don't need any dental block. I don't use anything, just a, a dot for the introduction of my cannula. And the lidocaine included in the TOCL is perfectly sufficient for me and for the patient. As far as you are quite delicate with the way you introduce the cannula. Voila, this is a free meal syringe already. You give me another great cannula. Can, so can now, you make sit up the patient that wait, we can wait. see? Wait, wait. If I sit up the patient, one thing is extremely important is the massage. You have to use your hands, sculpture, face sculpture, mold. You have to mold. You have to be sure, because you inject all this volume, you need to be sure it's quite even inside, okay? So you need to feel what you're doing. Open your mouth. This is very important. Okay? Open your mouth. And now, you see, I feel lumps, it's not, which is normal. Okay, it's not really even. And with my finger, I'm going to mold. This is a plastic product. Okay, you can sculpt it. This is facial sculpture. That's why we call that sculpture, because you use your hands to sculpt it. Not yes, I know. Sometimes my fingers are more aggressive than the needle. I know. So you can use the pre-post cream? No, 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 I don't use cream, I use nothing, I use my finger, the old-fashioned way, I'm sorry. The cream doesn't do the job. Let's see the difference, one side compared to the other one. I think you can notice the difference already. You see, it's more even. Smile. So smile, it has to be flexible. See, so the patient is not numb, okay? So no dental block, so you can really control. It's a good base. To start with, it's a good base, okay? Not bad. You see only with three meals, a lot. It's a major loss of volume. It's harmonious, okay? There's no lump, nothing. Smile, it's fine. Okay, let's do the other side. So we can put more. We can see this patient in a couple of months because it's the build-up. The sort of patient is quite difficult. Need a whole introduction of the cannula. We see quick. This hand is very important. The second hand helps you pull the skin. Boom, easy. So don't be squeamish, don't hesitate, don't be frightened. Slowly, slowly you will make it. It's easy to catch the, the movement. You see, I go quite low, okay? I'm working in the lower. But uh, Jean-Louis, you are always above the muscle, right? You mentioned always, earlier. Always, 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 always. This is where you should be anyway, because what she, she has lost fat, okay? So I don't understand these people doing bolus technique. I'm sorry, because why going on the bone? This is not the part with aging. She, with the aging process, she lost fat, okay? The lining of the face is fat. So why, not, why going underneath the muscle to do what exactly? To create an artificial volume underneath the muscle? To lift what? To lift the muscle? And, to cr and you still create the discrepancy between the skin and, and, and the muscle because you have to restore these three layers, skin, fat, muscle, they have to stick together, okay? And the discrepancy between these, these three layers, that is the, the reason why you have the aging process, okay? So why going on the, on the bone and try to... I don't understand. It's not Russian. So same thing, I have to sculpt. Because it's not easy. See, you put three mil of a high-density hyaluronic acid underneath the face. 
underneath the skin, sorry, like this. So it needs to be sculpted, it needs to be molded, because you can't just open your mouth. You see, it can't, it's not really perfect. If you don't do it, you see, maybe, I don't know if you see that. You see the, the marks here. Uh, I can, yes. So Jean-Louis, until right? now, how many products have it's you not used? Even. So I'm going to make it even with my finger. Open your mouth, open la bouche. Voilà. Sorry. Jean-Louis, how many products have you used now? On At each the moment, side? I've used two syringe of Ultimate, three mil each side. Okay, three ml each side. But it's an extreme case, huh? And this will be, I could put more today, but I don't think it's clever because the tissue I've been quite a long time without this fat layer in between. So you need to put this lining, let the lining spread out and, and adjust with the skin, okay? So you need to have the facial expression working on, you need the hydration side of the hyaluronic acid to work to plump up the skin eventually. And then, so you, you create this skin expansion and then it's better to come back in two months or three months after. It will be much easier than to put too much now, okay? You'll be tempted. You can, technically, if you want, you can put six mil on each side. I can, why not? But I don't think it's a good idea. It's much better to start recreating a proper shape, proper lining, not too much, restoration, see how it goes, come back in three months, and eventually finish the work with one three mil syringe maybe for both sides, I don't know, I have no idea, and see how it goes, okay? Because you need to readjust the three layers together, they need to stick together again, so we need to see how it goes in the next three months. There's no rush, and then we'll see. Okay, maybe you can stand up, Prevulve, and please, please. Okay, quite interesting. Okay, smile. So there's no reason you adjust this one and not this one. You create a discrepancy, which is not right. And I will finish with the lips. Okay. Same thing. Uh, ultra deep. I may use ultra deep for the chin area. Fine. Needle hole. Just close your mouth. Ferme la bouche et tout. Same thing. Very simple. Readjustment of the padding to reconnect with the rest of the face. You see, I reconnect the lower face with the mid lower face on the side. You see, I go on the side. You see, I finish my work because I stopped here. Now I have to finish here to make it quite harmonious. A little bit on the chin area, not too much, lining. Shall I prepare me another one? Another one. Uh, mm -hmm. Needle hole, same. See, I go on the side, huh? It's not only the chin area. I finish the lower face, the lower lateral face. I finish the work, which because I stopped here. I need to work on this. Changing. Checking, fine, it's working. Same thing, around the mouth, around the chin. Try to make it even, voila. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm fine, I'm on time. Uh, maybe I'll finish the chin also, give me the needle. The needle. A little bit on the chin area to soften it. I like to soften the chin. I think it's very important with the aging process. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay. So, lips now because I'm quite limited with time. Uh, can we put, ah, now I'm gonna have a problem. Uh, Theocial uh, Global. I love Theocial Global. 
global action. Know, for me, it's a standard. I can do almost everything with this. All the, the small details, fine lines, lips. I'm not a great fan of Theosial Kiss, personally. I'm just, I love this uh, Theosial Global, which was the, the benchmark of hyaluronic acid at the time of Juvederm. It was the classic one. This is technically very precise normally. Okay, so I work on the outline. I have a very special technique, you see. There is a natural virtual canal. If you can catch it, it's very, very natural, you see. If you want to do natural lips, you can see from underneath, okay. You see, I, I do the outline, the canal, with one dot. It's very simple. And with no light, it's even more difficult. Uh, I try to show you again. Um, but but what are you doing if the lip you is see, look, just look just look 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 up if the see lip I is go just from treated. underneath you can see it's quite interesting from underneath you see the difference yeah uh, yeah we can see you can see the difference huh <coughs> this this works even if the lip is uh, just treated before sorry I can't hear you. If you, if you yes, 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 yes. For, yes. for this yes, channel does this not... Yes, yes, you see, it goes all along. So you okay. can press. It goes all along the outline. Again, voila. Excuse, excuse me, Ex I'm sorry, but I don't have a light, so... This is really something new, I think. Normally you need a good light to do that. In the yes, auditory. It's okay. We can see it very nicely. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. This for is me, a, a very a interesting new opinion to treat lips. Voilà. Up, you see how we treat the lip. Lower lip. Smile. 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 Sorry, pardon. Give me a tissue. Close. So you didn't do any anesthesia, just no. the, the lidocaine product? No. Okay. Same thing with the lower lip. You see, I tried to catch up the, the outline. And then I massage. Because she has a tattoo line, which is misleading you in a way that it is not the right contour, because they, they try to cheat with the... Smile. Smile. Okay. I can't see anything. Same thing, you can massage what you're doing. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Gently. Voilà. Mm -hmm. I think it's enough. Maybe. I need to check that. I don't. Can you just sit up? I don't see anything. Smile. That's correct. It's okay. It's okay. Smile. Maybe it needs a little bit more on the lower lip. So you have this technique with one dot in the center, here. Voilà. So no anesthetic, no cream. I don't think you need a lot of cream. Cream can be very allergic sometimes. I'm not a great fan of anesthetic cream, personally, but you can use them, of course. Voilà. I think it's fine. It's fine? I think, yes. Okay. Let's, let, at, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. And so it's quite even and harmonious. Mid face, lower face, lips. It's quite right. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Next patient.